Hello everybody, I'm Burning Acid, welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. Holy shit, look at these two guys. Bill and Bob, they are really far out into space. Like, Kerbin is over here, I think these two guys are actually two Kerbals that have traveled the furthest ever. But that's not very impressive, actually, because Jebediah is currently working on a much, much, much more impressive project, and that's really fantastic. Uh, Kerbal Alarm Clock is working again, so that's pretty glorious. I have set up a node in one year, 62 days and 4 hours. It's going to kill Warp and buzz me or something in that direction. That's gonna be pretty damn good, actually, because... Ah, oh, so many times I have warped past the point I needed to do a burn or whatever. It's not good. It's not good one bit. So anyways, let's go and take a look at what Jebediah has been working on because he has been a busy bastard. So here it is, or at least what we have got so far. It is the Kerbal Capital Ship Mark 1, insert name. So the idea is I am really bad at thinking of names and this thing is so big it absolutely needs a name. And if I were to name it, it would probably end up something like Kerbal Ultra Ship 9 Billion or something in that direction. I'm really bad at making up names, so uh, you guys can help me, please? Please? Very please? That would be awesome. So over here, we have our actual cockpit kind of module. It's pretty cool. We have the uh, Capola, Capola module with a hitchhiker storage container. All the way down here, another hitchhike storage container, and in the middle we have a, an itinerant service container which has a generator and will actu actually generate a tiny amount of power, which is good, I guess. I don't know if it needs to be crewed by Kerbals before it generates any power, I, I really don't know actually. Over here we have a uh, Kerbal Attachment System mod item and it's pretty good. Um, we can use these to refuel the ship and that's really fucking amazing because uh, you you walk, you fly up to it with your Kerbal and you right click it and you tell it to link and then all of a sudden there's a, a green floaty thing attached to your Kerbal and you need to go to another pipe another pipe endpoint and then you can attach it to that and that's really fucking fantastic. So that's pretty much it for the main command module. There's a few battery banks and over here we have some ground pylons uh, on which I've placed a few strut endpoints which are going to connect to uh, the middle area. All the way down here is going to be like a massive thruster kind of module. I have no idea how to do that yet and Jebediah doesn't know either just yet. But we're going to figure it out and it's going to be glorious. Over here we have a sciency kind of department and the thing about sciency things is these things are inoperable as soon as you send the thing back home. So that's not too good. So basically we can undock it and eventually someday when we re return to Kerbin we can launch up new uh, science modules and it's gonna be pretty damn great. And these, this one and this one is actually a permanent kind of science junior, or jar, I still don't know, it's a junior, right? But holy shit, it's gonna be pretty damn amazing. Over here we have a lander of some sorts, also with a science jar, which can be uh, basically uh, undocked, which is gonna be pretty good, because once again, these fucking things are inoperable as soon as you transmit the science, that's so Done actually, I'm not not a big fan of that. And that's basically as much, as far as I've gotten. It's gonna be pretty damn fantastic. Not gonna lie, this ship. Oh, I've spent so much time on it already. This is as far as I've gotten. But yeah, it's uh, pretty great. Uh, you guys are gonna have to let me know a uh, cool name for the ship. You're gonna have to let me know in the comments. It's gonna be pretty damn great. And for now. I actually want more parts. I do not have the parts I actually want. So if we go to the science lab, here, we, if we look at the science lab, this is something I absolutely want. Advanced unmanned tech. Because basically we get nice, very, very nice uh, remote guidance units. Very low profile, very nice. 
It would also be nice to uh, unlock the double C seismic accelerometer. mutate, that would be pretty good actually. So it would be pretty good if we got a few, few more techs to uh, add more shit to our capital ship, which you guys have to uh, give a cool name. And uh, to do so, to, do, to get the tech, we are gonna send a few rockets to Minmus or the Moon, I'm not sure, probably Minmus, because Minmus mis missions tend to take a lot longer than Moon missions, and that's pretty good, because currently we have Bill and Bob on a freaking one year and so many days journey. So it would be pretty good if we can uh, speed that up a tiny bit. So, also the game is now in ultra speed up mode, hello guys, I am post commentary guy, once again I am here to ruin your de- uh, my, no, 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 no. Okay, so we are going to be sending two missions, the first one will be going to Minmus, the second one will be going to the moon. We are sending Harfred, because Jebediah needs his rest. Jebediah has proven himself like a quadrillion times already, so we don't need to send Jebediah to a silly place like the Moon or Minmus anymore. Jebediah gets the real stuff, and Harfred can get some uh, more practice, and actually, he did crazy stuff. It was, it was absolutely insane. You guys are going to see it when we go to the Moon. That was absolutely insane. So the game is actually in an incredible sped up time thing mode it's actually being sped up by 25 times and not going to lie that's pretty damn quick i mean it's been what a minute and we are going in for a landing on mimus it took just one minute what the shit guys this productivity it's crazy i'm not i'm not used to it i don't know what to feel of this what to think of this oh hell <laughs> no uh but seriously this uh, landing was a bit crazy, just a tiny bit crazy. Har Harford planted a flag and called it a textbook landing. I don't quite know why he does that. It wasn't a textbook landing at all, but there you go. Harford's just a crazy guy who likes to make his own rules. Uh, that's fine, as long as he survives and makes it back to Kerbin with all the science, then we will be happy. It's going to be glorious. So, once again, we will be sending Harfred, and this time we are actually sending him to the moon. For Unfortunately, clouds did not work this time when I loaded up the game. It's really... It, that mod has periods. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's, it's, I, it's crazy, absolutely crazy. So, we are going in for a landing on the moon. I uh, wanted to uh, land on the crater near the North Pole, but that one started going into the dark side and I had to change my plans and I went for a Midland crater. And we just ever so slightly overshot it and this happens and crazy stuff. We uh, went in time warp for a little bit too long and ended up like really close to the surface and the only thing I could do was fire up the big thrust and it somehow saved our asses. Um, Harford is just a crazy guy, he is absolutely crazy, I mean just look at what he is doing, that's absolutely insane, but he did it, he survived, he made it, and that's pretty great. Harford is a pretty courageous crazy damn Kerbal. And he is he's sliding over the surface of the moon right now, isn't that adorable? I thought that was quite adorable. And we are going back to Kerbin with another truckload of science, and that's pretty damn great. So go back to the old me. So we have returned to Kerbin, and that is absolutely fantastic. Let's see where Bill and Bob are at. Holy shit, they did not get a lot done now, did they? <laughs> About uh, 13 days have passed since last time we saw them, but that's fine, that's fine. One of these days they will arrive at Kaiser. One of these damn days. So, we have collected a metric shit ton of science, and that's absolutely freaking fantastic. Let's get, uh, instantly get advanced unmanned tech, because that was the whole idea of it. So we have just gotten that, it's glitched, and it won't show up until I reload into the science lab. But that's fine, we can live with it. We can still unlock one more science thing. Or, actually, we can unlock two more. We can unlock two more science things. So, advanced landing should be good, actually. We are getting it, we have gotten it, we did it. 
Okay, now how about we finally get this double C seismic accelerometer? Okay, done it, we did it, it's done, oh hell yeah. Let's get back to our vehicle assembly building and take a look at our capital ship. So, here we have it once again. It's still looking as majestic as it was before. I'm not too sure about the way it's looking actually. It looks kind of dumb, looks kind of weird. I don't know what to think of it just yet. Maybe I'll be able to make it look any better. But yes, once again, it would be nice if you guys could leave a comment for a nice name for the ship because I'm terrible at thinking of names and yeah, it would be a pretty damn cool if you guys could uh, think of a really great name. Let's actually check this uh, vessel out on the launch pad because that would be pretty damn amazing. Jebediah Kerman, obviously. And actually after Harford's landings just then, earlier just now, he has absolutely secured himself a spot on this mega vessel, this capital ship. He is absolutely coming with us because Ballsy landings like that, we need a guy who does that, because holy shit, the stuff he did was just crazy. So let's take a look at it on the launching pad, because that would be pretty damn fantastic, right? I hope it doesn't collapse, it's entirely possible that it just implodes on itself. Oh shit, it's very wobbly, look at those landing, those started landing things, they are not even nearly done. I've only basically slapped on a few parts, it's not even nearly done. But, oh, I'm uh, quite amazed, it didn't fall over or anything. That's pretty damn good actually, not going to lie. Look at this magnificent bastard. Just look at this. It's looking freaking magnificent already, and it's gonna be even bigger. I'm gonna be adding a huge, huge rocket stage down here somewhere and uh, I wonder how, it, how all of this is gonna go up there. It's gonna take fucking ages, I'm not even joking. But it's still fantastic, right? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm having a time of my life with Jebediah, designing this thing with Jebediah. Jebediah is such a clever guy, actually. He's, he always has, like, the best ideas and then uh, he, uh, quiets down for a bit and then he comes back with like the best idea ever once again it's fantastic so let's uh, revert this flight back so Jebediah and I are gonna keep working on our capital ship it's gonna be glorious absolutely fantastic and hopefully next time it will be finished or at least ready to be assembled in orbit and that's going to be fantastic but until next time, I've been Burning Acid, thank you all for watching and goodbye.